Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala mabada habita fillah Continuing on in a tafsir of some short surahs and very brief tafsir something that can be beneficial so we can get a general meaning of some of these surahs from an alam rabbani imam al-sa'di uh, rahimahullah ta'ala uh, so I thought because this is very short we could go through Surah Ma'un and and benefit from some of the benefits Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after a'udhu billahi min shaitan ar-rajim bismillahi ar-rahman ar-rahim arayta alladhi yukadibu bitteen fadhalika alladhi yadu'u liyateen وَلَا يُحُدُّ عَلَى تَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ يَرَاهُونَ وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَاعُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتاب الكريم In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins as with many of the surahs in the Quran with the Basmala. And as is mentioned that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to write his letters and his communications or have it written on his behalf sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as he couldn't read and write uh, on his behalf and begin with the Basmala. And the Bismillah, this is a way of praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seeking barakah in the activity that you're doing. And of course, that means that your activity should be mashroor. It should be a legislated uh, halal activity. We don't say, as some of the people who are ignorant or ignorant and making mistakes, who, who are in sin and then they say Bismillah before they do their sin. Bismillah and he commits zina. Bismillah and he is drinking alcohol. Or he's concerned which hand he drinks his alcohol with. So this is not the maqsood here, but however, this is in order to seek blessing and you will not receive blessing from a cursed activity. That's the point being made here. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Have you seen him who denies the recompense? That is he who repulse, repulses the orphan and urges not on the feeding of al-miskeen. So woe unto those performers of salat, those who delay their salat, those who do good deeds only to be seen and withhold al-ma'un, uh, uh, al the small kindnesses. Imam Sa'di rahimahullah ta'ala said regarding this, he said Allah says while chastising those who abandon his rights and the rights of his slaves. Have you seen him who denies the recompense? In reference to denying the resurrection and reckoning. This shows us the importance of Iman and the pillars of, of course the pillars of Islam, but the pillars of Iman. And from amongst those high pillars of Iman, the six, which are mentioned in the Hadith of Jibreel, and tu'mina billahi wa malaikati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wal yawm al-akhir wa tu'mina bi qadri khayri wa shar. It is to believe in Allah and His, and tu'mina billahi wa malaikati and His angels and His messengers and His books, His divine, divinely real books, which are the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa kutubihi wa rasulihi. وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ And the Day of Judgment. وَتُؤْمِنَ بِقَدْرِ خَيْرِهِ وَشَارِ And to be, to, believing in the Divine Destiny. The shahid here and the point of mentioning this hadith is mentioning uh, mentioning the belief in Yom Ba'ath or the Day of Judgment. And that many of the surahs in uh, Juz al amma they mention in the, the, the last part of the Quran they mention the importance and they mention the conditions and the state of human beings on the day of judgment and they also mention that the pagans are in denial 
about Yom Qiyamah. And when you see, even in contemporary times, this is the case. Even so much so that many disbelievers, people who, regardless of whether they're, they consider themselves Christians and Jews, because if they were Christians and Jews, Hakkan, they would believe in Yom Qiyamah because it is in their books. And it was in the books and in a part of the message of all the messengers, alayhim afdal salatu was salam. And so this denial of Yom al-Ba'ath is a sign of disbelief, a great disbelief, a great type of kufr. And Ahli Iman, it's being acts or being the opposite of this, uh, is that Ahli Iman, the people of Iman, the people of Tawheed, the people of, uh, of monotheism, that they believe in Yom Qiyamah. They believe in Yom al Hisab. They believe in Al Waqi'ah. They believe in Al Haq. That all of us will be resurrected and called to account for our sins. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Have you seen him who denies the recompense? Imam al Sa'idi said, In reference to denying resurrection and reckoning. So they deny that they will be raised up. And this denial has an effect upon one's character in this life. Because if you don't think that you're going to be resurrected, that you, uh, I just learned the term, and I've forgotten it already, uh, it's a common term that people say, low, uh, low, or something like this, which means live, uh, basically, living, quick and, and living in this in this life I forgot exactly what the term refers to but it, it, it's a term which actually denotes people denying the bath you know and denying that they'll be held accountable for this uh, for the things they do in this life the imam then said whereby they reject the news that was brought by the messengers. So that means this in uh, al Bath, you know, they're they're denying Yomu Hisab that they'll be held accountable for what they did in this life. They are in fact denying that and they're denying the messengers because they came with the same message. They came with the same message, but different sharias, different uh, rules and regulations for us to live by. However, they all commanded the good and forbid the evil, and they all came with the most important aspect, which should be our most important aspect of our call and our dawah, what we call humanity to and what we exemplify, and that is Tawheed, that is monotheism, pure Islamic monotheism. And how do we know this? It's because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fikitabi al Kareem, as far as our purpose, I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid the ta'bud, those things which are worshiped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those things which are pleased with being objects of worship. So that lets us know that all the messengers they came with this message and they came letting us know about the day of judgment, Yom al Qiyamah. And the Prophet وسلم, in the Quran gave us fairly uh, detailed uh, happenings of what will happen on that day. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bless us to be who we receive, uh, the the companions of the right hand, who receives our records in our right hands, and those people who do not experience any torment. Amin. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the other characteristic of these people, that is he who repulses the orphan. That these people, they repulse, repulse the orphan. They turn away the orphan. The Prophet alayhi salatu was mentioned, all, was an orphan, and mentioned uh, you know, and, and that in and of itself is enough for us to have love for orphans. 
But on top of that, the Messenger of ﷺ said on the Day of Judgment, mm -hmm. or said in the hereafter, that him and the orphans will be like this. You know, that they would be uh, uh, very close. So that shows the high status of orphans. Because they, 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 they were something great was taken from them in this life, their fathers. But in the hereafter, they will be compensated for that great and tremendous loss.